to enhance our experiences with extended reality and improve many parts of the digital world, technical advancement is necessary. In the metaverse, technology is developing very quickly. Prior to the metaverse, hard digital communication options were limited to text messages and phone calls. With the metaverse, we are now untethering possibilities on an entirely different tangent. Big technologies have replicated the metaverse's fundamental idea and provided a more developed 3D environment that could give people an immersive digital experience. The public is being urged by the metaverse, which is building a new era of the internet, to get ready so they can take advantage of the next iteration of the internet. The metaverse is now expanding as more people become aware of its applicability. Colex releases their much-awaited fast heating hand warmer bag for outdoor pursuits. The Coke's rapid heating hand warmer bag for outdoor activities was created to deliver heat to assist the user feel warm and comfortable throughout the winter. It also helps to relieve other winter-related discomforts, including the rigidity of the hands brought on by excessive cold. No matter what you're doing, the Colex fast heating hand warmer bag warms up in 3 seconds once powered on providing nearly instant warmth. This useful accessory is great for outdoor activities like fishing, skiing, or even just waiting at the metro station because it will keep your hands comfortably warm. The inside of the brand new Dassel Falcon 10X private jet, which will begin flying in 2025 and cost $75 million, is referred to as the penthouse of the sky and is comparable to the Bombardier Global 7500. Dassault, a French company, recently brought a model of its Falcon 10X private jet to the Paris Air Show, which was held from June 19 to 26. Although it won't be in use until 2025, the cabin tour demonstrated how opulent it will be, with a shower on board and a 203 cm 6 feet 8 inches, tall cabin. Dubbed the penthouse of the skies, this ultra-long-range jet can travel at a top speed of Mach 925 around 1142 km per hour. Pop-up agricultural pods to aid Mars colonists in growing their crops. As a nerdy nature-loving child growing up in France, the Interstellar Lab's inflatable biopod is intended to help plants thrive under pleasant circumstances on Earth and enable explorers to settle on the Red Planet. She studied finance and business and built a career investing in deep tech DC speak for companies whose progress depends on innovations in science or engineering. In 2014, she co-founded Hardware Club, an investment firm dedicated to physical connected products and robotics. Now, Barbara Beldizzi is realizing she once daydreamed about life on other planets, giant domes filled with lush plants and exotic flowers like the one she painted on her bedroom walls. However, adult life beckoned. Forget the jet, the Hill HX-50, the first private helicopter in the world, will take to the skies in 2019. Starts at about $648,000 for a chopper. Pilots if Hill Helicopters has anything to do with it, charter companies and fleets could soon be history. The British aviation company has introduced what it calls the world's first totally private helicopter, an invention of head engineer Jason Hill in reality. Each new owner is invited to Hill's factory in the UK to work side by side with a team of engineers and manufacturing professionals to construct a personalized dream machine. The new Hill X-50 is built particularly for private owners rather than fleet operators. The largest telescope in the world is still being built by the European Southern Observatory. The extremely large telescope was directed in 2014 by leveling the top of a mountain named Cerro Amazon and Chile's Atacama Desert. ESO recently announced that construction progress has reached 50%. The remaining work should take another five years before the telescope is completed in 2028. To enable human settlements on Mars and the Moon, researchers from Kyoto University and Kojima Corporation have proposed building artificial gravity facilities. The facility's design includes enormous rotating structures that would produce the effect of Earth-like gravity through centripetal force. 
Concerns about the health risks humans would encounter when traveling to other planets were raised by a study published earlier this month that found astronauts suffered significant bone loss while in low-gravity environments. A year after returning to Earth, the astronauts in the study had only recovered half of the bone loss. To address this issue, researchers proposed creating a lunar glass facility, a living space on the moon. The cylindric building is up to 400 meters tall and 100 meters broad. Master Plan for a Park The Shenzhen Bay Culture Park along the waterfront in Xinjiang, China, has been designed by mad architects. The master plan calls for the construction of a 51,000 square meter cultural complex that includes the Creative Design Hall, the Shenzhen Science and Technology Museum, and a sizable public green space under the direction of Mai Yin Song, a Beijing-based architect. Mad Architects unveiled their expansive plan for the Shenzhen Bay Culture Park, which would be finished in 2023 and have a total construction space of 182,000 square meters. The proposal is situated between the Hohai neighborhood in Shenzhen's Nanshan district, which is also known as China's Silicon Valley, and the Serene Ocean Front, tackling both the ancient and the future. Shenzhen is a dynamic, energetic metropolis. Vision Pro is a technological company's first significant product introduction in 10 years. With the launch of its newest product, a mixed reality hits, which will be available in the United States early next year. Apple has joined the metaverse market. According to CEO Tim Cook, this is the first Apple gadget you look through and not at the screen. A little dial at the top of the device, which Apple refers to as a digital crown, enables users to transition to a more immersive virtual reality experience. Vision Pro was built primarily for augmented reality, allowing applications, videos, and images to be superimposed on the user's environment. Cook revealed at Apple's global event, the company's first significant hardware launch in almost 10 years. Electric Restaurant in the Air The Turbo 3E, which commemorates the Renault 5's debut 50 years ago, has 375 electric horsepower and is intended to produce popular drifting films. A new electric hatchback from Renault is scheduled to debut in 2024 and will bear the five nameplate that graced the automaker's best-selling model in the 1970s and early 1980s. A concept version of the vehicle will be unveiled in 2021. The iconic Renault 5 Turbo Rally legend is being reimagined as an electric drift car in the R5 Turbo 3E. This year also marks five decades since the introduction of the Renault 5, and the French brand celebrated earlier this year with the quirky but stylish 5 Diamond concept. Updated Hybrid Super Yacht Idea Kuros presented by Oshenko, the 90-meter hybrid super yacht concept Kuros was created in association with design studios Pin and Farina, and fresh information and visuals have been made available by Dutch Yard Oshenko. Life on board the 90-meter yacht is described by the Dutch shipyard as one without boundaries. Its exterior has been shaped to evoke a tranquil oasis in which to relax and enjoy time on your own terms. The builder said described as a floating living island, Kairos has a symmetrical profile and does not aim towards a forward direction. This elimination of momentum allows those on board to live fully in the moment without the sense of urgency to move to a new location. With the use of a tiny accelerometer and a ring worn near to the base of each finger, the wearable keyboard known as the Tap Strap 2 can detect whether the user's fingers are fast moving or striking a hard surface. To transmit any keyboard or mouse signal, fingers can be tapped alone or in groups like piano chords. The Macro Editing Tool Tap Mapper, which is included with the Tap Strap 2, also enables the transmission of several keystrokes with a single hand motion. If the builder's forecast for the future of the float house is even somewhat true, it will be a bright one. The COD, the world's first eco-restorative floating house, ushers in a new era of Homo Aquaticus by enabling city dwellers to lead alternative lifestyles more in harmony with nature while leaving a smaller environmental footprint and enjoying more opulent amenities and unrivaled views.
This is really one of the three types offered by the Panama-based business ocean builders. The other two are the green pod, which will be situated on land, and the ecopod, which will be the most environmentally friendly. Is this the best smart bed available? The flagship model of high interiors, which costs $120,000 USD, features sleep and air quality trackers, a massage option, and an entertainment system with a 4K HD projector and 70-inch screen. 21 Savage, the winner of the 2019 Grammy Award for Best Rapper, also debuted it at the Salon International Del Mobile Milan Furniture Fair. It is the first Italian smart bed and the flagship model of high interiors. Everyone may enjoy trekking in the new, luxurious post-pandemic world. Father's Day presents fit for even your dad for worry warts while trekking. You may keep an eye on the air quality, temperature, humidity, and light.